All right, so we're here on a nice machine. It's been a little while since I've been here, but uh, got a little dilemma here. It's uh, not making ice, so let's take a look a little look at it here and see maybe why it's not working. First thing I noticed, the bulb here <coughs> looks like it's been bad for at least a year or two or three, maybe four. And let's take a little peek behind this. Yeah. Get a nice place up there for the for your stuff to hide. Something tells me that didn't just happen. I mean, as much as I'd like to say it just happened, but I really don't think that just happened. I mean, when you have incorrect water flow, this kind of stuff happens. So we're going to have to heat this all up with water. I mean, that's crappy water. That's like sand feeling to it. That's, that's just really bad. And look down here. Screw it. Let's just go ahead and take this down. Yeah. I'll just let it dump down in there. Yeah. Yep. I am terrific. How are you? Hanging in there. Hanging in there? Well, I ran it through a couple harvests and it's uh, about ready to come loose. Um, better off to put. There we go. Lovely. That's nice. Yeah, everything in here is going to get washed out. Washed. It's going to get washed out. Yeah, we're not going to leave any of this crud in there. So, you got to be really careful here. I mean, I kind of gave it a little bit of a tub of thumping there on the side, but you could break that. So, we got that. You know, when you're cleaning these out, you got to get this stupid thing out of here. I mean, that's bull. That's that's some really nasty, nasty crap. So you've got to take this 3 8 nut off here, drop that down. You got to take this thing completely out. You got to get back behind there with your sprayer and clean all that crud out of there. This is just plain maintenance right here. Just plain maintenance. Now, granted, now I'm telling you right now. We got we got the UV bulb there to help kill that stuff and we have an auto cleaner unit here to clean the ice machine automatically and this is still the problem we got um, there's a lot of yeast in the air but see the difference is this here is sandy material that's not it's not your usual fungus I mean there's some, some funky monkey in there but that's not your usual maggot looking muck. So that's that's just um, some of that's just horrible water. A lot of the water out here in these small towns is uh, from well sourced out of the ground, uh, no, not done with reservoirs and stuff like that. So we're going to take that apart. And here at the top, you just got to pull this straight forward. Like that and then come in the back side here oh my gosh there we go see that down there those are the drain holes from behind the from behind the uh, panel and that goes all the way across all that crud is back behind this water panel no one ever gets behind here that's the reason why I say that you really need something like the Supco Porta Blaster to get in there if you want to make it easy. If you don't want to spend forever tearing this stupid thing apart and cleaning this kind of crud out, you just gotta get all that stuff flushed out. I mean, look at all this underneath here. See? It's not the usual slime, though. 
I mean, it definitely ain't something I'd want to drink out of. But all that crap needs cleaned. It's just pure clean. That's all they really need, just to be cleaned. Simple, simple cleaning. Got our handy dandy flip bit here, as always, guys. My tools and stuff like that are all listed down below for the most part. Um, anything that's not sold at True Tech Tools can be uh, found at Amazon, obviously. They all help support the channel. But, you know, that's that's kind of nasty. I, I don't think I really would care to lick the bottom of that. I don't know about you. This is pretty bad, so there's just really no good reason for that. None. This is the underside here. Oh yeah, it's lovely. Well, it's all gonna get washed. Washed out the bottom. Yeah, those little holes, all that crud and crevice and nastiness is all gonna get washed out. That's washed. W-A-S-H, washed. Washed. It's gonna get washed and washed, both. Yep. Yes, sir. Gonna get her. Gonna get her good. Gonna get her real good. Let's go over here and get the old uh, portable power blasting machine cleaning. This is where it rides at, man. It rides shotgun right here. The thing is tiny. Tiny but mighty. You know, I really did not think this thing would be worth a diddly squat. And I am so glad I got it. And it's not expensive. Have you seen some of these other ones that are like $700, $800? And yeah, they got a battery pack, but you can use a Milwaukee battery pack. So I get that and I get my five gallon bucket, which this is all a big mess back here. So you can go ahead and judge me if you like. My little five gallon bucket, it's all customized with my $3 handle that I made out of rope. But we're gonna throw some Dawn dish soap or whatever it is they got in there. We're gonna run it right through the machine. We're gonna get that thing cleaned up, I mean, literally can throw it right inside the bucket if you want check them out you can pick that up at true tech tools too hey don't forget use the promo code survival to save eight percent support the channel without having to spend a penny out of your pocket i do have a regular sprayer like that and then i've got my awesome refrigeration technology one there this truck is a mess there's only so much you can do with it though do you got some new stickers here fancy refrigeration podcast you guys in refrigeration i'm sure you've heard of them by now check them out and HVAC crew, they sent me a lot of the different stickers there. And don't forget to check out Overtime. And don't forget to check out everything HVACR and Huseman HVAC. Those are some of my guys I watch. If we need it, we've got the little power deal there. There you go. I use this just to get the main junk out of there. And then we'll use the regular cleaner when we're done. Let's get our goodies out. Now the one thing I did do to this, and I've said it before, is I fix this wand so you can get up in the crevices. Supposedly they started making one now. It'd be nice if they sent it to me. I ended up using silver solder, 40%, to do that copper to stainless, which it works fine. Anyhow, we're just gonna use this to suck it into the machine. And we actually got a power plug right there. So that makes it kind of nice and convenient and there's nobody here customer wise. So we can do this without making a humongous mess and getting in people's way. Got these <clears throat> screws taken out of there. Can't just clean the outside, you gotta get the inside. And then this piece here, I'll just grab a hold of that with your pliers, which looks like somebody else has already done that because they're pretty much missing now. So you're gonna have to pry that out with a straight screwdriver. If you put a little bit of a silicon lubricant on there to pull out a lot easier next time. It feels like a sand. There we go. Nice. Yep. All that crap's gonna come out. So nice. So so nice. Now we're gonna clean some of this up obviously with my brush and stuff like that. We're just gonna use that same soapy creation here and just scrub it while we're underneath here to try and knock some of that crud off of it. But, uh, you can get some crevices here that you need to get and just uh, some of that will come off just by spraying it. You got to scrub it off. That and the green goblin there. We got this about as good as you're going to get it. Scrubbing non-stop on it. 
the, that's calcium buildup. Uh, looks a lot better than it did. Some of that you just can't do much with it. It's, the cleaner's gonna have to dissolve that. It's rock. So we got those pieces there. We just gotta get in the main machine. It's not gonna get perfect in there either because that's, that's like a calcium buildup and it just does not release. I'm more worried about fungus and muck and slippery nasty snot and stuff like that. Now I got multiple different brushes. I got a tile brush here, big round brush, and I got that little baby brush for getting in there and I got a toothbrush and use all those different ones to try to get up in these different crevices and just work your way into it. Um, some of it's bouncing back at you. I gotta use that low spray. Right now I'm just trying to dissolve some of it and then uh, come at it with the scrub brush and then get it to fall out. And then we're just gonna wash all that down the drain. We'll just uh, we'll use the highest pressure from behind here with a uh, pointed nozzle. You just rotate that nozzle to what uh, type of spray pattern you want, widen, fanned, or whatever. And as you can see, that calcium crap, it's just, that auto cleaner is obviously not working. And uh, this machine's been in since 17, so it's going on five years. And when you're in horrible water like this, the machine's not going to last very long. It's the price of business when it comes to that kind of water. Not much you can do about it other than pay somebody to do it maybe every three months when you have a, a place with this much yeast in the air. Bread, you make bread, pizza places, sub places. This is what happens. Get all that cruddy, nasty stuff off the back side of that thing because it's like a breeding ground. Get all kinds of shred stuff in it. We got this one cleaned up a little bit. Looks a lot better, a lot better than it did by far. Okay, so if you need to get into below because you lose something, this little nozzle, this little right there pops up. Here's your drains that we're gonna need to make sure we flush when we get done. That's the front cover right there that needs to come up to be able to get to it. All right, so I have scrubbed and scrubbed with a tile brush. This crap will not come off. That crap down there will not come off. They need to invest in an in exhaust system to get some of this yeast out of here and do an air exchange of some sort and bring in some fresh air into the building because there's obviously an issue here. From what I'm hearing, this thing has had a lot of problems and had a lot of things replaced on it. And unfortunately, just the cleaning machine that they added to it's not going to cut the mustard. Um, honestly, this machine needs replaced. That plastic's etched. I mean, when I come in here with my knife and and I, I'm cutting away plastic, you're not going to get it clean with a brush. The thing needs to sandblasted. And at this point, it just needs replaced. Sorry, Charlie, that's that's where I'm at with it. It's gonna make ice, it's gonna be clean. It looks like hell. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be happy with it, but that's where we're at. So uh, that's gonna be the recommendation. I'm gonna go ahead and get it together and get it running so they can at least have ice, but there's only so much I can do. My magic wand, I left it home. Uh, I'm not a miracle worker. It's uh, at least clean. Uh, we'll run sanitizer and stuff through it and uh, get her up and going. One hand got it back together. It looks a lot better than it did. Just isn't to my quality standard, but um, there's nothing more I can do with it. Uh, we're getting ready to add the uh, fluid to it. I'm not gonna waste my time with my refrigeration technologies on this one. I'll just use this new Calgon. Uh, got a, a bulb ordered, so we'll get that. And I flashed the uh, memory on it too. Went ahead and updated the software, which that should have helped me out for if it wants to freeze again like it did. It should go into a uh, one hour uh, meltdown or whatever. So we just gotta, this is the king of great installs here. You had all this room up here, but you can't hardly get into anything here the way it is. All right, so we got that in there. Let this thing begin. See, it's washing. Go ahead and let it do its thing here. Still on harvest here. It's trying to drop. Yeah, 
The ice thickness sensor there needed to be adjusted. It was starting to get to the point where it's clicking and everything else, and that's not good. Uh, it's going through watching our sensors and our temperatures and stuff like that, and it's just, it's working, but you know, like I told the people that you need better ventilation in this building, you need better water filtration system, and you might want to consider replacing the machine. I'm gonna say it's Friday and we made ice. Everything looks pretty normal down there. We'll go ahead and wrap this thing up, guys. Well, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like it, please make sure you subscribe, hit that thumb button, check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.